Tide is having a familiar startup in Tampa and Sarasota before making its way to us. This is the latest red tide map released yesterday. You see the red dot off Charlotte County showing high concentrations. In Lee County, we're seeing low and medium concentrations. Wink News reporter Camila Pereira was at the beach this morning. She tells us if she's felt any impact. On Fort Myers Beach, we're not necessarily seeing or smelling anything yet when it comes to red tide. You can take a look here. Pretty crystal clear for now. But as we saw with Charlotte County this week on their coastal areas, things can change for the better or for worse fast when it comes to red tide. But when you see and smell something like this, hundreds, maybe even thousands of dead fish washed up in our shorelines, it's definitely a concern. Many going back and thinking, is this going to be another season of red tide like it was back in 2018? All right had a big impact because the beach was open and so all the visitors stopped coming. The restaurants, um, we, we didn't have our restaurant at that time, but the San Bartiki and the Lock and Key and White Elephant, you just couldn't be there because of the hacking, the smell, everybody was hacking all the time. You could, we still had our, a lot of our vacation rental people canceled because of the red tide and just the workers, you could just hear people hacking the, away the whole the whole time, and it, it affected everybody. But experts say this is pretty normal to see at this time of the year. It is when we expect to see red tide. So one of the main things to keep an eye out is being aware of the signs. One of those is dead fish. The other is physical symptoms you might be feeling if you're walking by the water. You either have a scratchy throat, watery eyes, or a cough. Those are signs that maybe you should be a little bit away from the water just for the meantime. On Fort Myers Beach, Camila Pereira, Wink News.